Virtual reality centers may be the wave of the future, but to many, the local arcade is still the main place to hang. For a handful of tokens, a player has virtually every type of video game at his or her disposal. And although many gamers have the latest systems at home, nothing compares to hitting the arcade. There's more of a variety here. You get to play a lot more games, you know, and stuff like that. And so there's like a, a, lot of, a lot of games here that's not on home system that I like playing. There's a game here I won't play at home. It's not going to be the same. Like, uh, like Street Fighter games and stuff. I mean, they don't compare, like, to arcade and to home version. I come in here all the time, and it's always packed. So they're doing pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I mean, everyone I know has got a home system. Everybody in here has probably got more than one, you know, so. But they still come out. You can't play pinball at home. The arcade uh, market basically drives the home market, and uh, the competition really doesn't lie anywhere with home market and video arcade because the only thing that the home games offer are just the graphics. The video arcade offers the competition, offers the atmosphere, offers the challenge, the whole game itself, challenges of other new players. So whether it be at home in virtual reality or down the street, the video game industry is still the number one entertainment business to date. What they come up with nowadays is something else.